Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover what is generic servlet. Uh, generic servlet can handle any uh, type of request. So it is a protocol independent servlet. Uh, if you take HTTP servlet, uh, it can support only uh, the request uh, which are uh, HTTP specific. So it is protocol dependent servlet. Okay. But in case of uh, generic servlet, it can handle any type of request, any type of uh, protocol. So it is protocol independent servlet and generic servlet class implements servlet interface servlet config interface and serializable interface okay so uh, generic servlet class provides implementation of all the methods available in uh, this uh, servlet servlet config uh, interfaces okay but uh, it won't uh, provide implementation of uh, service method okay that you have to remember and uh, Suppose if you want to create a generic servlet, what you have to do is you have to just extend the uh, generic servlet class and provide implementation of uh, service method. Okay, and uh, you can see the method summary here. Uh, so some of the methods uh, are related to servlet interface, and uh, some of the methods are related to servlet config interface, like uh, init, service, destroy, uh, get servlet info, get servlet config. So these are the methods available in servlet interface and uh, uh, generic servlet uh, override uh, those methods and provide some implementation okay and like that uh, get init parameter get init parameter names this and all related to servlet uh, config interface so generic servlet uh, uh, override uh, these methods and provide implementation uh, now we will see the sample code of uh, generic servlet. Uh, I have written uh, hello generic servlet.java. So this class extends uh, generic servlet uh, and uh, provide implementation of uh, init method, service method and uh, destroy method. Okay. Uh, so I have just put uh, the init method has been called and uh, in service method I put uh, service method has been called and uh, I am writing uh, hello generic servlet in the print writer uh, object uh, and in destroy method uh, I just put uh, destroy method has been called and servlet is destroyed ok so I will uh, deploy this uh, web application and I will show you the output so I selected the generic servlet file export and selected war file click on next browse and I am placing a generic servlet var inside the tomcat web apps folder click on finish starting the server uh, server has been started now I will access that uh, web application using this URL so till the context path I am giving and enter so it is showing uh, index.html uh, content ok so index.html is the home page so you will open that so this is the home page it is showing this uh, uh, link hello generic servlet ok so that's what you are seeing here ok and uh, I am clicking this one so once I click uh, it is appending uh, hello generic servlet uh, to the uh, existing uh, URL ok so this is the URL pattern so once I uh, click that uh, hello generic servlet link it appended this one and uh, this request will uh, go to the uh, tomcat uh, server and uh, the server has a web container the container will check in web.xml what is the corresponding uh, uh, servlet uh, name ok so you can see uh, here this is a url pattern ok so this is what you are seeing in this uh, end ok so the servlet container identify that uh, url pattern which is there in web.xml and it will find out corresponding servlet name so using this servlet name it will check in the servlet tag what is the corresponding servlet name so it will check uh, this one and identify this one ok then this is the corresponding servlet class related to that uh, URL pattern ok 
so it will load this uh, servlet class so which is nothing but this hello generic uh, servlet.java okay and it will load that uh, servlet class and it will instantiate then it will call the unit method of uh, that servlet instance okay so you can see here the init method has been called and uh, servlet is initialized okay so once servlet is initialized it will immediately call the service method okay so you can see uh, service method has been uh, called okay then next to what we are doing is uh, we are writing uh, hello generic servlet in the print writer object and the response will send back to the client and the client is uh, displaying hello generic servlet okay and uh, if i shut down the server destroy method will be called so you can see here destroy method has been called and the servlet is uh, de uh, destroyed okay so that uh, servlet is uh, taken out of service so automatically the servlet container will call the destroy method so this is about uh, generic servlet and thanks for watching bye